everyone, Pastor Evan Owens here from Rutledge Falls Baptist Church, and I am standing in front of our namesake, the Rutledge Falls. And many from around the country really have started to travel here to see these beautiful falls and to visit our area. And many of you uh, in our county and in our surrounding area have come here time after time. And perhaps as you've, as you've come, you've wondered about the church that sits just across the street and uh, I'm here today to tell you about what's happening at that church and to invite you to our Easter services at Rutledge Falls Baptist Church. The Lord is doing great things and has done great things throughout the history of our church and he continues to do a work right across the street uh, from these beautiful falls and we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to continue to do in the future. Around 2,000 years ago the most important weekend in human history happened. Jesus Christ, the God-man, died on a cross on a Friday afternoon and rose from the grave three days later on Sunday morning. He is alive and he reigns forevermore. And we gather each and every weekend as a church to celebrate that, but we will celebrate it in a special way on Easter Sunday, March 31st. And if you don't have a church home or you don't have somewhere to worship on Easter, we would love for you to come and worship with us. Perhaps you visited the falls and thought, maybe I should check out that place sometime. Now's the time to do so. We hope you can find a place that you belong here at the falls and come and hear the greatest story ever told, the story uh, about Jesus and what he has done for us. And so we'll be having services on Good Friday at 6 p.m. as we remember and celebrate the crucifixion of Jesus. We'll take a look at uh, events that happen right before he is led to the cross uh, as he stands before a crowd and the crowd is given a choice of whether to release Jesus because he has done nothing wrong or to release a notorious criminal named Barabbas. And we'll look at that choice that is made and how Jesus is condemned and Barabbas, the guilty one, is set free and how we can find ourselves in that picture and in the person of Barabbas, that we, the guilty ones, are set free because Jesus is condemned in our place. So that will be Good Friday, March 29th at 6 p.m. We invite you to come and be a part of that. And then on Sunday morning, March 31st, Easter Resurrection Sunday, we'll have Sunday school at nine, worship at 10, and we will celebrate our risen Savior. He is alive and he is alive forevermore. And we celebrate because he lives and he reigns to ever intercede for his people. And he stands ready to save those who would call upon his name. And on Easter Sunday morning, we'll look at what it looks like for us to share in the resurrection life of Jesus. We'll look at Romans chapter six and how Paul tells us that Jesus has been raised to life. And because Jesus has been raised to life, those of us who have trusted in him will too share in that resurrection life. Maybe you have questions about what all that means. We invite you to come and find out. Maybe you're watching this and you're already a part of our church family. Would you use this, share it on social media and use it as a, uh, just a, to spur you on to invite others to Easter services at our church. Or if you're watching this and you live around our area and you've been thinking about and wondering what church to come to on Easter Sunday. First, let me say, I hope you'll worship somewhere and we would love for you to worship with us. So again, Good Friday services at six, Easter Sunday morning, Sunday school at nine, worship at 10. We hope to see you there. We hope you can find a place to belong at the falls. See you on Easter.